let's take a look at some larger covalent molecules and here we have the structure of carbon in the form of a diamond. Let's have a look at this in another way. In diamond we have one carbon atom and that is joined to four other carbon atoms and it gives this tetrahedral shape and we can see that the two molecules here fit together making the same type of pattern. What we can see in this is that this diamond also has a ring pattern of six atoms and we can also see this a slightly different way so let's make up another one of these carbon tetrahedrals and if we put these together then what I can get is this structure. I'll just see if I can move these around. I've got here five carbon atoms there. It needs a sixth one in there to make this ring and then we can put in another ring of these and there making up this same structure of diamond you can see that we've got rings of six carbon atoms together. Carbon doesn't exist just in this form which is diamond but we also find it occurs in this form here this of graphite. Graphite consists of a six ring of carbon joined to another six ring of carbon joined to another six ring of carbon and these are basically each carbon with three bonds which means that we've got an extra bond left over and these form very weak bonds between the layers. This makes substances like graphite extremely soft because this layer can slide over the other layers very very easily whereas in the diamond structure everything is extremely strong and whichever way we look at this we get the same basic structure which makes something like a perfect diamond virtually indestructible. Carbon we can also put together in another way and this is a fullerene. What we really start off with is this carbon graphite and we manage to slice off a layer down here and if we can take that layer and we can roll it up we can then make what's called a fullerene named after Buckminster Fuller who help discover these and this consists of in this form a five ring and a six ring carbon setup. Maybe the idea one day is we'll manage to put some molecules in the center of this and we could use this for transporting drugs around the body but until then we've got here a fullerene made up from a sphere of carbon atoms. The last form of this is I could take my graphite, cut off one slice, this graphene slice, and then I could roll it up to make carbon tubes. And these carbon nanotubes make exciting things like carbon fibres which we can use widely in industry.